I wasn't able to put a tune on it. I was trying to tune it. Um, but like I said, I got put over. I got put over twice actually. So they was like, if you uh, if they see it on the street again, they was gonna take it. So I, I'm not trying to get nobody cars taken. So uh, trucks, cars, whatever. So I told them, man, get it registered, bring it back so I could do the tune on it, and uh, just basically have fun. It just it, for some reason it just randomly bogs out. Like All right, so check me out, man. I have one wire left, which is that wire back there. I gotta put some loom on that. And I mean, pretty much. Why is this thing zoomed so far? There we go. Pretty much, that's that's what it is, man. Like I said, 1988 OBS. I like them tires, man. 1988 OBS LS swap 6.0. 4L ADE transmission, two wheel drive. Uh, he's gonna come back and get the AC done. I already have it pretty much uh, ready to go. Just gotta add a relay and do a couple other things, Freon, stuff like that. And it'll pretty much be ready to go. And um, has the aftermarket intake on there. Has a uh, cold air intake. Pretty much nothing simple. I mean, nothing. Uh, nothing crazy nice and simple super clean i'm gonna call this the ict build <laughs> pretty much uh free advertising i guess huh and uh oh yeah nice braided uh the heck is that oh that's a towel nice braided what are these called uh transmission lines i have a super clean get y'all some extra light over there real quick hopefully y'all can see that I got the overflow going from here. My finger at there we go. Got the overflow going from here all the way down there. Because I had a previous vehicle, which was the Monte Carlo, had an overflow issue. And I'm gonna just start adding the, the tanks on it. And it looks good, man, right? You get extra reassurance and it looks good. They're supposed to be the brackets. Y'all can't probably can't even see it. Let me see. Turn it down so. So they're supposed to be these little brackets that's supposed to came in, but for right now I'm using zip ties. They're basically gonna come here and pull over on both sides and catch the radiator. So uh, when he come back, I have those installed. Have the uh, focus. Have those little nice little clamps on there. I still gotta do little stuff like tighten all that stuff up. That's for the the fans a lot of good stuff on this thing man like i said it's super crazy he didn't spend a lot of money on it but he spent just enough amount have the uh, you see that it's like a little bracket down there that i put on there so make to make sure that the uh the transmission lines will never touch the touch the uh touch the headers or the exhaust or whatnot so got your nice relays pretty much everything quick simple and clean hopefully i showed you guys enough on this build had a floor shifter i am not a fabricator i'm sure they have a bracket or something like that but i did obs like four years ago same concept came in and i uh put a shifter in that one as well use this plate plate was like five bucks from home depot and uh i'm going to use some self uh some those are uh self tap screws but i'm going to use like some pop ribbons like i did on the other one it came out a little bit cleaner but like he said, he's not tripping because he's going to be putting carpet in here. Actually have to get and go. Take my uh, take my kids to practice. That's an extra one. But pretty much from here. I don't know what the hell this is. This line got to get cut. So pretty much from here, uh, why is this camera so zoomed in? There we go. I zoomed it out too much and it cut off. So pretty much from here, I got the uh, the fuel pump wire and the fans and all that going through to the relay that's up there. Have it all nice and clean. And this one is going to go all the way to the other side and have your rubber grommet right there push this one have these ones going all the way to the back and pretty much everything's gonna go like this so when you put the carpet in here it's not gonna be all crazy these are all to the uh 
to the dash, but he's doing a digital dash. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Finished wiring up the uh, the fuel pump, the hot wire for the ignition. This braided looks super clean, man. Y'all keep asking me about the harnesses. I'm not sure if I want to sell them right now. So give me some time. I'm trying to catch up on life. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, show love. Hit the thumbs down only if your ugly ass is a bum. Hating is only love and jealousy at the same time. Get your paper, because I'm going to get mine. I got to go. I should have been left. Adios. Muchacho. All right, big dog. Shit, it's on you now. Are oh, you fired up? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had to put the Popeye spinach down. Let it, uh, let it uh, cycle real quick, and then shit, fire it up. There it go, nigga. There it go. There it go. So he ain't seen the fire. Oh yeah. Oh, he ain't seen nothing. This the first fire up he heard. You know what I'm saying? Pop the hood. Over there on that Popeye spinach. <laughs> yeah. So now you can see what she looking like in person. You know what I'm saying? Let it build up a little bit of oil pressure because that's basically a cold start. And then after that, you can. Uh... So this right here, put your hand right here. Oh shit. I thought it was a motor. Put your hand right here. You feel it? It's the tensioner. It's the what? The tensioner. Okay. You hear it? Yep. And then put your hand on the, on top of that alternator. You feel it? You hear it going to tick, tick, tick. That bearing in the alternator about to go bad. Just go to Vato Zone and buy a brand new one and I'll switch it out for you. I got it. So you give it some gas now. Yeah, man. Watch if we take the belt off, yeah. it won't do it. It won't do it. Yeah. Nah, nah. I thought I, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, man, that shit is a lifter. But I mean, they they did you right though, bro. I see what you saying. The, the 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 box, yeah. But it ain't gonna throw no codes. So look, y'all. Yeah. With this bracket, I can make one. Well, it's coming in like, like three days. Oh, it is? So, I mean, we can, whatever, we can, um, it's up to you. Okay. When you bring it back, I can put it on or however you want to do it. All right, y'all. So, I think I said it early on in the video. Uh, the registration is from 2004. <laughs> the registration from 2004. I don't want to get caught driving. I want him to get the car taken. So, he's going to go get it registered, get everything done on it. And, and then he gonna bring it back so I can figure out uh, what's up with this bargain situation. But it's late night. He bought the. Uh, he just came all the way. Like what was it, like three hours, two hours? Yeah. Oh, it's Barstow. I thought it was Bakersfield. Oh, came from Barstow. Damn. Yeah, he, he was in the gas stand. And uh, so he gonna come back and uh, he driving home tonight. He gonna come back and whatever, whatever. We gonna get everything crazy. Yeah, man. We'll take it for a driver. I'm gonna. Uh,